Listen to part of a lecture in an economics class. The professor is talking about a law of economics. Today we are going to be talking about one of the most basic laws of economics. Nothing of value is free. Sometimes this is dubbed tanstoffel. The word tanstoffel is formed from the initials of the statement, there ain't no such thing as a free lunch. What this means is that everything that has value must be paid for in currency, labor, or something else. Not only do people have to pay for everything that has value, but governments also have to. Governments have a lot of expenditures, public buildings, roads, their military, etc., and to get the necessary money, they tax their citizens. Nobody likes to pay taxes, and history has shown us that when taxes get too high, people eventually revolt and overthrow the offending government. To avoid raising taxes, a government must find another way to deal with the problem of getting money to meet its expenses. Let's look at the Romans. The Roman government taxed its citizens in order to pay for the expenses of running such a vast empire. It became apparent over time that if it raised taxes further, it risked provoking unrest. So the leaders came up with the idea of clipping the denarius, a coin made of 94% silver. When the tax collectors brought in people's taxes paid in silver coins, the Roman treasury clipped or shaved the edges off the coins. The clippings were minted into new coins. For a time, this gave the government the money necessary for its budget. But it did not take the Roman people long to realize that some of their coins were missing silver. Therefore, they either refused to accept the clipped coins or charged more coins for their goods and services. In later centuries, a system called reading came into practice. A reeded coin has grooves along its edge, making it easy to see whether or not clipping has taken place. But since the Roman government still needed money and clipping no longer served its purpose, the Roman treasury started melting down coins and reminting them with a mixture of base metal such as copper. However, each time a coin was melted down and reminted with a base metal mixture, the percentage of precious metal became less and that of base metal more. When the Roman people realized that their money was being debased, they responded by hoarding coins. Whenever they got a good coin, one with a high percentage of silver in it, they kept it. They spent only bad coins, those with a low percentage of silver. This behavior is explained by Gresham's Law, which states that bad money drives good money out of circulation. When debasement happens, money loses its value and prices inevitably rise. What does Tan Stoffel mean? Why did the Romans start to clip coins? Why did the system of reading come into practice? The professor briefly explains a process. Summarize the process by putting the events in order. What kinds of coins are illustrated below? What two statements can be made about Gresham's Law? What can be inferred about the practice of debasing coins?